The middle one? Cut the middle wire. Oh my god! Oh, 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 did I mess up? Oh my god, we got her killed. On air. On air. Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and well, the games play me. Today we're gonna to be playing a game called Call of Fre Killer Frequency. And I was gonna do some a clever little opening, but this is part one, so I'm gonna do the clever opening for the next one. So let's just jump into the game, guys. Okay. I really hope this is recording, because that will suck if it's not. So let's get started. Man, I love the graphics on this. So, welcome to Killer Frequency Part 1. Um, because I am going to put this in parts. So. Yo, what is that? What is that? What is that? Um, um, what's this? Uh, let's turn this junk on. I don't know what that did. I don't know what it did, but it is on. Um, what's in here? Okay, nothing. But yeah, so I'm gonna break this up into parts because the girl is busy. Bro, who is over here playing around? Like, don't. All right, hold the door. Oh, so we starting to put tutorial. So they didn't tell me how to spray. I feel like I do that in every game. What was that? What was that? something Peggy huh hear what I thought I heard someone yelling or I don't know how Forrest is this a joke no I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something oh and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up you probably just heard some cats outside cats you know four legs whiskers tails not dogs <laughs> I know what a cat is but I mean does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Alright, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Grab a record, stick it on the player, hit play. Okay. Ooh, what we got here? Okay. I don't want that. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on Yo, the table. Yo, hey, you, yeah, you, you can be quiet for a second. Can I look? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I have to. They didn't say all that now. Got it. <sighs> that was too stressful Great. for what? Now turn it off. Oh. All right. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take oh. your call on line one. No, I'm not. Yo, go over there. Sorry. Where's line one? Oh my god, I'm such a terrible DJ. Oh, right here, right here. Sorry. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Okay, so what are we okay. doing? You're live in three. Oh, I'm live? Two. <coughs> 189. Welcome to. 16. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to. 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only <laughs> late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. 
I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. <laughs> we need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream Thank in you. just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Oh, this is your job. Why is he so down? What do you mean, play the tape? What tape? Oh, this one? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Oh. Really, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? You know I'm the show to... depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough I'm dead air insane. already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Where's my mic? Oh God. Give me the mic. I got you. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, <laughs> and then call in to oh, that's another one right guess here. that scream. Ooh, let's do the Yeti. Oh, that's embarrassing, honey. Don't do that again. That's well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Who's Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now... Here's some music while you get dialing. Mm, today's the third. Ain't nobody dialing, y'all. I guess nobody care. Anyway, it's, uh, it's September 3rd, 1987. Okay. Play yep. a record, Forrest. Oh! <laughs> Yo, lady, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I'm not really good at this. Hey. Okay. I need to her. Oh, she looking at me. She is looking at me. I can't, glass. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Light enough for us. That's gonna be the highlight mm. of my On tour. The Twilight tour is on tour, okay. And I'm Oh, oh right Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome to 189.16. The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Okay. Slow night. <laughs> well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. There's only one? I think this is real. Peggy, how I'm not really happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. Yeah, what I gotta do with what this? What was his name? I'm just a sheriff radio show host. Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Oh, what? what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Oh. Someone got up very close and... Oh. 
I sorry. really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? Sorry, I don't I'm know. so happy about I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Oh. Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Valley. Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? Am I getting paid extra for this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why me, I'm a bro? radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Mm. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> and besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Okay. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Uh, another way in. Okay, guys. So, should she break down the door? Find another way into the cell? Find another set of keys? Me? I would just start breaking down the door. That's that's my first answer. Any chance thing. you could break down the door? I feel like it's, it's a, a head holding answer. cell, Forrest. These doors aren't budging for anybody. I figure it's still. Uh, Is there another way into the holding cell that you can see? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. Alright, if you want to be sarcastic, I'm not doing this. Like, don't be funny. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another oh, set. So I'm just Where down. might another set be? I'll have to go back here. Sheriff Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys. No, that's on the one she took, didn't it? Yeah, never mind. That's yeah. the one they took. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over. What and... is she doing? Oh. Please don't stare at me. Girl, we don't need to know what's going on I... over there. Keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. Why does he not think of that? I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I'm quitting. This is a prank. I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this leaving. town. I've never heard of anything like. Like this, happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see so what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. The watchers folded. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. 
I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. You mean we're gonna be on our own? Just Peggy and me, and no one else, responding to emergency calls. You'll be fine. I don't you know and why Peggy I said just that. work together like, like you did earlier. Part of the game. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No. No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. We? What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Can't be who? Oh, my God. Who? I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? Put that mask and who? how the hell is he? Who, who Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? That, oh, my God. Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. Copycat killer? But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? I have he's to. coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock I the door. I got time and... Right. Oh, we're cooked. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think! Uh... Yep. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Is she, is she down? Martina sorry, like... Oh. Don't just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. <laughs> but... Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? C could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Baton, pepper spray, Martinez. taser. Which should I take? Taser. Oh, I thought it was a time one. I think we should do Taser. But Tom, you gotta hit him with. That's getting too close. Pepper spray. He he got a mask on. Taser. I mean, it's gotta be the Taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and oh, then... I hope we made the right choice. Wait. Do you hear that? Look at her. She looks distressed. No, I don't. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. Be careful. Bro. I don't like it. I don't like Me it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Girl, Ryan. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <sighs> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, mm. right? So... Here we go. She's talking too much. Again, oh, you're hooked girl. into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. She's very nonchalant. Good luck, Leslie. I'll be nice, because she is... That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> yeah. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Me well, neither, they right? always say you have to be ready oh. for everything in live radio. Alright, what are we doing, Shadi? Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Nine I'm one. putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. 10-4. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. 
old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. <laughs> Ten Debbie four. Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Period. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get I know away from it. her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Take that! Drive! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Like, what was you doing? Uh, Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or I like how they have her doing the stuff in the back. that taser? Definitely the right call. You're welcome. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek as a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Yeah, she need to wake up. She need to wake Peggy, up. Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Yeah. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Whistling that man? Leslie? That's Everybody crazy. Martinez? Yo, I love her reactions they do. That's kind of fun. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. Yeah, we are. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give, give us, us a, a call. call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The, the Scream. Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. The flow. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Oh! Forrest, that's not helpful. Oh, we hit I know, buckets. I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial no, killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, oh, whistling about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. A dozen? No reason for it. No motive. Uh-uh. Redo. Is it right there? Oh, how I missed that? Y'all didn't see that. Oh, I got dialogue. So we're screwed? Because it sounds like we're screwed. Yeah, just well, a little bit. Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well... It was on this night, actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. His ghost? His body was never found. So how do I think he so was dead? He alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? The story old. is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. Obviously, right, now. that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Dang it. Oh. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with. Whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I yes, guess. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? Oh, see, I'm on a Thursday after midnight. Could be around 35. 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Oh, so I'm new here. 35 at best? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. That's it? How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Oh? Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big Gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? 
Five million. Million? million? I was thinking a thousand too. Yeah. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah. I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective hey. tonight, huh? Don't oh, we have court. a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Y'all stop so much. Turn the music off. Oh, that. I'm so happy they don't have a time thing. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? <sighs> okay, you're playing a prank. It's a prank. You know, it's not like a high school kid. Okay, uh, who is who don't this? Get girls. Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Mm hmm. Yeah, nothing, but nothing else to do. On a school night. Do your homework! You're breathing okay. in my ear like that. What's your name and why are you calling in? Mostly <laughs> man, question mark. <laughs> I hate people, bro. Did I say that? Like, that's crazy. I've come back from the dead to kill again. Like, why is he doing that? No one's safe. You don't have to do this, Mr. Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Oh, you can hear people talking in the background, bro. You must make a sacrifice to us. us. A sacrifice? To us. I mean, me! Bro, her reaction is killing me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. You should have been cut them off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, Also want a mega gold. Come on! For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside Ooh, with on, your doors there. and windows locked. Hold on, I'm not there. They hang ups as we hung up on that cake. Ah! What the hell was that? Bro, why do I keep talking? Right now is stalking the town. It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny. Oh, wait. But it's not. It's so not he died on this day. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that. That's real. In the 50s? So Christ. Let's stay positive. We like still 80. have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right, let's do this. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. For what? Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. <laughs> Imagine. What's your name and what's your trouble? And my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. For what? I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, we got you one operator. Help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, oh. God. it's actually happening. I will. Where are you now? Bad night to go out for a run. Let me not Where be sarcastic. Where are you sarcastic. now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least, so I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Girl! You better start running. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh, my God. She's stressing me out. I don't know a thing about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. A 
I'll call you back when I find it. You're listening Swap to 189.16, The Scream. Sir, hosted by me, Forrest, Forrest Nash. Stop talking. Your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. He's you sit way tight too while the record like, spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. And then he gonna play music? She about to die! Alright, man. Whatever. I'm not introducing no song. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not mm. even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. Get in there, It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh, what am I looking for? Sorry guys. Tip <laughs> paper ball baskets. Records collected. Oh yeah, collected records. Let me go to the bathroom. It says are these both women bathrooms or what? I don't like that music. What's this? What's this? Alright, the Wussy Man, he can't be in here, so we're Gucci. I don't know what that newspaper said, and I don't know how to look at it. Oh, so square. The gal's a porter, they won a big game. I did all that. Okay, put that down. Alright. Put that down. So, it looks like we need to find keys around. Turn that off. Um, please stop putting stickers on the office screen. Okay, okay. Bro. But as you can tell what this game is about, it's about a serial killer that has gone loose. And we are a radio host that got kicked out of Chicago, I think, because we did something. And so we basically ruined our career. And now we're in a small town of like a thousand people. And the one 911 operator for this town has to go help the sheriff because the sheriff is dead. So, I mean, she has to go help the deputy because the sheriff is dead. So now we're in charge of taking 911 calls and we have to still do the show. Crazy. And this guy's like really sarcastic too. So that helps. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was not paying attention to what they're saying because they talk so much. Let me open this door. You find anything? I'm done looking. Let's just get on with the call. You sure about that? Yeah, let's do this. What was if I looking sure, for? I don't know. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16. The, the scream. scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <sighs> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? IRL, when I was looking around and she was waiting to call us, Shotty was dead. Shotty was dead, bro, because that was a long time. Put the screwdriver, yep. I think I think I seen that in a movie. I don't know how accurate that is, but put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. I think that's right. Here goes, baby. I, I oh, wait, it's not a flathead. Uh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Okay, we're not hitting the stereo with the hammer. That's just not. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just She's doing all this while a whistling man's coming towards you like IRL. She's dead, bro. Shotty's dead. How long are these screws? Okay. I know he's just laughing at her. I will just run. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up and oh god, my heart is pumping. Uh, do you jazz, do breathing? jazz breathing? Don't panic. Okay, we can do this. There's a red wire. A she 
looks stressed. Look at her. A green wire and a brown wire. The freak I supposed to? Oh shoot. Um, I don't know nothing about this. Blue and red, though. I see those all the time. So let's go with that. Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Okay, here we go. Blue and red and twist and turn. How's it ready to Creeping wires going into the stereo. What do we do? The middle one? Cut the middle wire. Oh my god! Oh, 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 did I mess up? Oh my god, we got her killed. On air. On air. Oh, we're not, we're not being sarcastic, bro. Shoddy died, bro. That's so sorry, you don't laugh Sandra. at that. He didn't deserve that. That poor woman. I would feel so guilty. <sighs> Folks, Gallows Creek just lost one of its own. Everyone, please stay home. <sighs> stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned.